Okay, hello dear friends. Maybe just a few minutes. I actually wanted to tell you a story. The story from my yesterday's experience but suddenly I am so concentrated that I do not even want to tell that story not important once our mind is in the right mind set we are good right it's not important if we can do something that we are supposed to do. We are supposed to be in a good mindset and everything else is a nice extra we have it, we have it. We do not have it, we do not have it. Okay. Not end of the world. And we can deal with it if we do not have it. So the story is, suddenly I want to tell this story again. The story goes like this. Once upon a time, 
there was a little boy or maybe a little girl anyway there was a little boy still do the little boy one he was very easy to get angry il est très facile de se fâcher et quand il se fâche il fait très 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 brutalement et très 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 vicieux so there was a little boy who was very easy to get angry and when he was angry he was really angry he cassait des choses et il fait n'importe quoi so he break up things and uh, he, he was just very angry and everything out of his control out of his mind and uh, his dad was a very cool guy. So let me tell this story in Chinese now. On peut faire en trois langues, n'est-ce pas? Pourquoi pas? N'est-ce pas? So there, 从前有一个有一个小孩儿，他特别特别特别特别特别脾气大，特别容易生气。动不动就生气，而且他一生气起来呀、啊，就特别厉害，砸桌子、砸碗、砸东西啊，又喊又叫又跳又闹，毁了好多东西。然后他有一个很酷、很棒的爸爸。有一天，他爸爸跟他说。他爸爸说什么呢？从前有个山，山里有个庙，庙里有个和尚讲故事。他爸爸跟他说：“我呀，告诉你一个办法，以后你再发火、再生气，你要控制自己。怎么控制自己呢？我知道谁呀，生气都需要有一个发泄的地方，对不对？我呢，也给你一个发泄的地方。”那么你的发泄的地方是什么呢？你呀、啊，如果你一生气，你觉得你要生气了，你呀、啊，你就，你就干什么呢？你就，嗯，你就到后院那棵树上去钉一个钉子，一生气你就钉钉子。不管用多大的力气钉这个钉子，因为钉了这个钉子呢，你就不生气了，对不对？你就把你的火给发出来了，这样就可以不生气了，就可以脾气好一点了，就可以把你的火给泄出来了。他听了以后，他说：“哎，这是个好主意。”所以他呀，一生气就跑去钉钉子，钉那棵树。Ils sont pas à dire quand ils te fâchent. Tu vas faire un clou dans l'arbre. You use a nail to put a nail on the tree, on an old tree in their backyard. And、uh, this way, you can get the anger out of your system, and you can be come a little bit more calm. So he thought that's a good idea. So. One day he got really angry, and then he remembered his dad told him to put a nail on the tree. Then he went to put a nail on the tree. He was so angry, so 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 angry. So he put a big, big. He used all his strength to slam on the tree and. Make a big, big 
deal out of it. And the good thing is, after that, he did feel so much released because he got his anger out. And uh, he felt good. The next day, he told his dad, that's a good idea. Donc, il a fait et trouve ça marche pas mal. Il a moins euh, il est et, 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 et moins fâché et moins euh, en colère. So, is that how... So, I'm sorry. So, later on, every time when he is angry, he will go to that tree and uh, make a big, big, big nail mark there. And uh, because he always got his anger out, then he become less and less needed. At the very first, he went there every day. And then later on, he does not need to get to go there every day. He become much less frequent. Au début, il fait le, le, le clou tout le temps, presque tous les jours. Chaque jour, il a besoin de faire un trou. Et après, il trouve ça marche. Le moins de de colère, comme on dit en français. Il a moins, il, il se fâche moins. And uh, he's less angry and uh, he got himself much more in control. Become less and less. Become once a week. Once a month. And uh, at the end, he does not even need it. So he, he almost overcome him. But still, there are times he needed. This time his dad told him, Okay, now I have seen you make such a big improvement in controlling your temper. How about you reward yourself? How you reward yourself each time when you feel you're really angry and uh, you control your anger. You reward yourself by pulling out one pin out of one nail out of that tree then this will help you to remember you used to be anger and it also helps you to know that you overcome your anger and you accomplished something and he thought that's a cool idea okay he will do that et après, son papa, il a dit, « Maintenant, tu es beaucoup amélioré, tu es moins de se fâcher, d'être fâché. » Et le colère est beaucoup euh, moins fort, vicieux, brutal. Donc, euh, tu peux... Award yourself, comment on dit en français, tu peux, euh, tu mérites, tu vas te saluer par euh, chaque fois quand tu penses que tu as besoin de 
mais un trou, mais du pas mis un trou, au lieu du enlève un, un clou. So each time he overcome one thing, he took out one, until at the end he does not need to put anything. He grown up, grew up, and uh, he grew up, became a successful and uh, well tempered, well tamed, just know how to control himself, to become just uh, the right person with the right personality. And he grew up, he went far away to look for job. One day he came back, he came back to his backyard and he found that tree and uh, he went to that tree with his dad together and uh, he counted on the tree there were 72 marks scars so he was happy, he overcome himself 72 times and he fixed his anger problem. But as he watched, looked closely, he found there were 72 really ugly, dark, deep, scar on the tree. Although he had taken out the, the nail, there is a sign on the tree. There is a scar on the tree. There is a scar that indicate once upon a time he was angry and uh, he hurt the innocent tree. No matter how much you improve yourself, there is always a scar there. So this is the story I told the students, the students not in the class, and uh, they understood it. And we all have done things unintentionally or intentionally. Sometimes people got us to our nerve, we became so angry, sometimes for whatever reason. And uh, <clears throat> we just got so angry. and. Uh, we hurt other people. No matter how later on you regret it, there is a sign on the tree. There is a sign there to tell people that you once hurt other people. I never thought about this story. I just tell the story like that until yesterday when I, when I thought what I have done myself. When you do something, when other people hurt you, you do something in return, you may think they deserve to be. You may think because they hurt you, they do something wrong to you, so that you, you, you return back, you return back, back something they deserve. But uh, there is a scar. Any time you do something, there is a scar there. There will always be a scar there. 
however you do, whatever you do, there is a scar. How about you do not even start to do that, right? Don't do those things. If you do not even get started with it, do not think you can win something by hurting people or not initially starting from you because other people do some, something wrong to, to hurt you. It does not bring any good result to whoever, for whatever reason. Just don't do that. It does not help anybody. There will be a scar, and you do not want to get that scar. It is... I never thought about this matter, but it really hurt me yesterday because... because what I have done, or because... It's just a very hurting feeling. There will be a scar on you. Don't do that. That's not worth it. And uh, by doing rough things to other people, do not bring us happiness. Do not bring us joy. Does not make the world a better place. Does not make the world better place, so just don't do that. Doing bad things, doing things, anything, there is a consequence. There is a good consequence for good thing, good thoughts, 
there is a bad consequence for doing bad things. The problem is that uh, for people doing bad things, they may not intentionally doing bad things to hurt you. They may just uh, finding a way to protect themselves or protect ourselves, but unintentionally we are hurting people. I don't know how to put it into the right perspective. You do not, you cannot compromise your discipline to please other people. There is time you need to have your own discipline, your own dignity, integrity. There are times you need to compromise. And uh, it's a very, um, it's quite hard to, to decide what you do, what you need to do, what you want to do. And uh, you may have good intention, but uh, maybe your intention is not perceived as a good intention, or the other people just do not have the same mental, mental set, mentality as you. Do you know what I am trying to say? You think good, people do not think your goodness is good. People do not take as a goodness. So your goodness will not end up in the right result. So, do not hurt people. When people hurt you, how about when people hurt you, forgive them because it is not only doing a favor to the people who hurt you, it's most importantly, it's actually doing a favor to yourself. By not hurting people, it gives us, ourselves, a sense of uh, higher dignity. Do I make sense? I think... Uh, a lot of you, most of you, are gracious, good, kind, elegant people. At least the people who watch my video, you are, you are wonderful people. And uh, you, You do not want to hurt people, right? I do not. And you are better than me, I know. Because hurting people do not give us pleasure. Who get pleasure from hurting people? It's uh, some people hurt people 